Good morning students. Today we are going to work on organization. Organization is how we structure our materials so that they are easy to find and quick to access. Do you mean like I should keep my blocks over there, and my nucleus over here, and my emoji right here, my trophy right there, my camera here, my mouse over here, my USB over there, my PlayStation here, my phone over there, my bag of money over here, my calculator, my box, my memo. There is my jute box. Over here is my paint palette. My books. Wait, Johnny, that's not what I mean. This stuff is all over the place, not organized. If your bedroom looked like this, your mother would have a fit. What will we do now to get rid of all this stuff? We need a miracle? Oh, I know. Wait a minute, students. Office. Is Michelle available to help me with my room? I will send her right down. Michelle, you are needed in advisory class. Wow, what a mess. I'll have it cleaned up in a jiffy. <laughs> wow. What an amazing janitor we have here at Valley Junior High. We are going to learn how to keep our schoolwork organized. Please take out your Liger binders. Do you mean the nifty ones we got the last time we were here? Yes, we will go through what should be in your binder. I have mine. At the front of your binder. You should have a pouch where you can keep your pencils, pens, and erasers. Next, this section has all your school information. This section contains the dress code and the school-wide expectations. The next section should have several colored folders for your core classes. These folders are where you keep your homework both unfinished and completed. The last section should contain blank line paper that you can use to take notes in new classes. Now. We will talk more about the homework folders section. On the front of each folder, you should write which class the folder is for. On the inside of each folder are two pockets. The one on the left is for your unfinished homework. When you finish your homework, you can move it to the right pocket. When you are in class the next day, you can turn in your finished homework to your teacher for credit. Not done. Done. Not done. Done. Finally, after you get your assignments graded. You can put them in your binder behind the folder to keep them safe for studying for your tests. If you follow these guidelines, you will not lose your assignments, you will be able to complete your homework, and then you will remember to turn in your work to your teacher. What should I do if my teacher says that I didn't turn in an assignment? If you follow the guidelines, you should have your assignment in your notebook and you can take it out and show your teacher that you have it finished. Can't I just jam my work into my backpack or into the front pocket of my folder? If you do that, it will be hard for you to find your homework or your assignments when you need them to study for your tests. Ahem, my mother bought me this expensive trapper keeper. What should I do with it? You can use that instead of the Liger Pride folder if you want, but you should still have the same things inside. I don't want to carry this big binder to every class. I can't give my friends high fives and secret handshakes if I am carrying books in this big binder. I understand. But your friends should be impressed that you are being a good student and trying to get good grades in your classes. What happens if I carry my binder to every class and I learn to use it wisely? You will get credit for it in your advisory class, maybe even a treat, but most importantly, you will build the skills you need to be successful in your future. I lose everything. What happens if I lose my binder or if someone steals it? You should be careful and responsible with your binder, but if something happens to your binder, please talk with me. Because it is very important for you to get organized and have your binder every day and at every class. If you have any more questions, please ask your advisory teacher.